Hello and welcome to our new workshop. This workshop comprises the second part of the multi-part workshop series on the subject of workflows and work assignment. You can find the link to the first part in the description of the current video. In today's workshop we would like to show you how you can implement extensive checking and approval processes with the Paper Office Control Workflow module. For example, for an invoice approval by defining multi-level work processes with branches through a red-green query, requesting digital approvals, and always keeping an eye on the process overview. Because thanks to Paper Office Control, you can model your processes yourself. Thus, for example, the accounting department creates a workflow for the invoice verification with the responsibility of the purchasing department. This workflow would have two decision options. First decision. Negative option red, which in turn triggers another workflow action. The purchasing department finds an inequality when checking the invoice total and gives no approval in the first workflow, WF1, decision red. This decision would trigger a further workflow, WF2, which forwards the assignment of tasks to the accounting department with the work instruction to contact the invoice issuing company and to correct it. This would complete the workflow. Or, second decision. Positive option green. The purchasing department does not find any inequalities when checking the invoice total. All items are correct and the total is correct. And thus issues a release in the first workflow, WF1, green decision. This decision triggers the action green with the forwarding to the third workflow, WF3, with the work instruction to the accounting department to settle the invoice. This workflow is considered completed after confirmation. The process just described can be implemented very easily in Paper Office. In order to be able to assign a workflow to the document, the workflows 1, 2, and 3 just explained must first be created. Call up the document properties of the document for which you want to create a workflow, switch to the Tagging tab, and call up the Workflow Administration Manager. How the Administration Manager can still be called up and how general workflow information is made is already described in the first part of the workflow series. Now click on Create New Entry and enter the name of the workflow, e.g. WF1 Invoice Check. Define the work instructions briefly under the first tab and continue directly with the workflow process under the second tab, Procedure and Approval. Select the left radio button with the inscription, Request Red-Green Decision and forward it to Further Workflow. Now add a label to Option Red, Button Labeling, for the button with a negative decision, such as Do Not Give Approval. Now select the workflow in the area, Action Red, Forward to this workflow, that will be carried out if a negative decision is made. We have already created the second workflow with the designation WF2 Correction of Invoice and show it briefly with the decision Approval and Terminate Workflow, Responsibility by Accounting Department. This second workflow counts as finished after confirmation. The properties of this type of workflow, so to speak, simple workflows, have already been described in the first part of the workshop series. Now we come to the option green. With the option green, we also store a label for the button, such as Give Approval. Here, too, select a workflow in the area, Action Green, forward to this workflow that will be carried out if a positive decision is made. For this, we select the third workflow, WF3 Approval of Payment. We have also created this and briefly show the workflow settings. Just like the second workflow, this is considered finished after confirmation. In both option cases, red and green applies. The depth of the branching levels and decisions is not limited. Now we come back to our original workflow, WF1. Under the Responsibility and Due Date tab, select the Purchasing Department responsible for the current workflow. If necessary, select the appropriate due dates and or priority levels and, if necessary, define further escalation levels. In addition, automatic actions can be specified under the last tab. All of these have already been described in detail in the first part of the Workflow Workshop series. You can find the link to the video in the video description. Now click on Save Current Entry to save the multi-stage workflow that has just been defined. After the workflow has been created, click in the selection list and select the workflow. Save the change. The workflow document assignment is now complete. The workflow control window appears every time in the paper office interface of the user or department to which the workflow was assigned. 
In our example, it is also displayed to us because we are logged in with username John Doe and have also assigned the workflow to him. The control window is only displayed if the user clicks on the document that has an active workflow or the workflow is overdue. As you can see, when the document is called up, the workflow control window is displayed with two decision options that have just been created red-green. The individual positions and buttons of the control window were already explained in detail in the first workshop. In this workshop, we will present both decision options. First, with the first option, as already described at the beginning of the workshop, the Purchasing Department compares the purchase contract with the order confirmation. Since the items and totals do not match, the Purchasing Department decides not to approve the invoice and clicks on Do Not Give Approval. As said by us, this action would trigger the further workflow, WF2. As the next step, an additional message can optionally be added for this second workflow. You can save work instructions which will be displayed in the next work step. During the entire workflow, the document remains in the existing folder and is not additionally forwarded to the next processor or department. This means that the documents are always available to you and your colleagues. As you can see, the control window for the second workflow now appears with the additional work instructions that have just been stored, such as correction of the invoice and specified decision criteria. This workflow is addressed to the accounting department. For demonstration purposes, we have also added John Doe as a responsible person and the control window is displayed. The accounting department contacts the relevant company with the request to correct the invoice and thus completes the second workflow. In addition, you can also store an additional message here, which is then entered as a note in the document timeline. You can call them up at any time by clicking on the corresponding symbol. This completes the entire workflow with the first red decision option. Now we carry out the second decision option with the decision green. With this option too, the purchasing department checks the purchase contract and compares it with the order confirmation. Since everything fits this time, we click on Give Approval. Here too, additional work instructions can be stored for the further workflow. The message transfer is confirmed by clicking on OK. Now it is forwarded to the further third workflow WF3 Approval of Payment, as defined in the workflow settings. The workflow control window appears with the additional work instruction that has just been stored. The accounting department carries out the transfer of the invoice and confirms the settlement by clicking on the corresponding button, thereby ending the workflow. This completes the entire workflow with the second decision option green. As you can see, thanks to the Paper Office Control Workflow module, you can also implement extensive workflows and solve complex work instructions, but you remain fully flexible in the modeling of your processes. This concludes the second part of the workshop series on the subject of Workflows and Work Assignment Red-Green Decision. Goodbye Paper Chaos, welcome Digital Office. If you would like to find out which outstanding functions and solution options Paper Office also has, call up our other videos and subscribe to our channel.